Harlem Globetrotter memories are non-stop. For 72 years and more than 20,000 games, the Ambassadors of Goodwill have entertained millions around the world. They've touched the emotions of a broad band of fans, creating memories that are the fabric of life and the architect of the future. Today at Disney World, the world tour of magic of the Harlem Globetrotters continues with memories, always different, always fun. Tonight we move into the Disney World Wide World of Sports Complex for a special kind of memory Harlem Globetrotter style as we rekindle the memories and establish some new ones. Tonight the Harlem Globetrotters go against the New York Nationals as we get ready for Globetrotter basketball. Hello again everybody, Sam Smith alongside the NBA All-Star Reggie Theus and tonight Reggie and I have the opportunity after watching in January of 1998 the 20th thousand game. We of course rekindle our memories and maybe make some new ones tonight, Reggie. No question, Sam. I a long time ago got a chance to have my father take me to a, a Harlem Globetrotter game and got a lot of memories this summer. I got a chance to take my kids to see the Harlem Globetrotters and I know those memories will stick with them for the rest of their lives also. There's three generations right for you. Being very competitive, the Harlem Globetrotters, I think, have stepped that up even more. There's no question. They, they used to be known as one of the greatest basketball teams of all time. Now, Manny Jackson took over this team in 1993 and he wants to get back to that status. That's his goal, making this team one of the best of all time. You'll see some of that fresh young talent as we get ready to tap off in a moment. Our third member of our broadcast team tonight is Amy Bender. She's at courtside and I think she's got some special friends to watch the game with tonight. Amy? That's right, Sam. I certainly do. Reggie touched on it earlier tonight. He took his son to a game. The Harlem Globetrotters have always been about the kids. The kids are here tonight. The 99 theme, we mentioned it early. Memories. Always different, always fun. We're going to make some new memories tonight, right guys? Yeah. Kicking off the Harlem Globetrotters 99 campaign in style. Back to you guys. Thank you, Amy. Looks like you're in good company, and we are, too, that you've joined us tonight for our telecast of Harlem Globetrotter basketball. Pull up a chair and enjoy it. The Trotters against the Nationals straight ahead. Crowd's ready for something to happen here at Walt Disney World's Wide World of Sports Complex, and the Trotters, along with the New York Nationals, are getting their final warm-ups in before we tap it off here tonight on tonight's game. Not only have the Trotters played over 20,000 games, they are now approaching 20,000 wins, <laughs> which is even more important when you look at the uh, scheme of things with the Trotters playing around the world, going to 116 countries. How would you like to be there traveling? <laughs> I tell you what, you get log a lot. You got to learn how to sleep standing up when you travel that much. And you'd also like to have their uh, frequent flyer mileage as well. Trotters warming up, basket to our right. While well, the Nationals getting themselves ready, and there are some new faces on the Nationals as well. As they too have to come out with a good bit of athletic ability because the one thing about it is we take a look at the starting lineups for the New York Nationals and you see Pennington shoes Stuart Hobley who by the way is still trying to get on the uh, Trotter squad and Thibodeau the big man on the inside they've got to be competitive in this game and they are and definitely you'll see the first five minutes of this game they'll be getting after it pretty strong. Well we mentioned the newcomers Otis Key X-ray hip along with Jerome James. Reggie Phillips didn't play in that 20,000th game in January of 98, but Juan Verser certainly did and put on some slam dunks, and they'll be the starting lineup tonight for Charles Tex Harrison. Do you realize he's been around the Trotters now for 38 years? He's an icon in his own, and how about uh, Geese Osby? <laughs> One of the great clowns, as a matter of fact, a clown from 1961 to 85. What a longevity he had with the Trotters. Listen, I had a chance to spend a little time with both of them. and They had me in stitches the whole time. You know, when they talk about how the game is going to go, the flow, Tex kind of shuts his yeah. eyes and he kind of <laughs> goes, it's like a dance that he goes in. He sees, he's painting the picture. He, he sees what's getting ready to happen. It's, it's amazing. I mean, and here's a guy who's, who's sipped tea with Queen Elizabeth. And many other dignitaries around the world. Look at the number there, 19,852 wins. Lost only 332. Uh, that'll keep them coming back. <laughs> <laughs> the Nationals will be clad in the green. By the way, this facility that the Trotters are playing in tonight is their permanent training ground. And what a facility here at Walt Disney World as we get ready for the opening tap off. And Jerome hey, James will be tapping it off. Barry Terry will probably be the most maligned gentleman in this building before the night is over. <laughs> will be the man in the striped shirt. There's Paul Gaffney, even on the bench, he's working. This is a great team because they have the license to abuse the referees. Exactly right. <laughs> We're not allowed to do that. 
So the Trotters, what else? Red, white, and blue. The green with the orange basketball on the side for the Nationals. And Thibodeau will jump for the Nationals. And the Trotters will open it up for the ball. Now you're going to see some competition here. They're going to play some pretty straight basketball. Are the Trotters here? And you'll start seeing some of that new talent coming out here for the Trotters of Coach Tex Harrison. That's Berser. Rebound comes off to Hobley. Reggie, the, the Nationals, and you kind of see this almost from any level. Got some pretty good plays as far as what they try to set up, try to get to the post to Thibodeau. But you got to work the plays, you got to do it. And of course, the Trotters right on their hip defensively. Well, it's very important for both teams to establish themselves and get themselves into a, a sweat and a mode. They got to get these fans into this game. And of course, X ray hip. He can shoot it, he can put it on the floor, go to the hole right there. But when you hit a bank shot from straight on, you got to call that one, Sam. I was going to say, did he call that? <laughs> it must have been very quietly, I think. So the three by X ray hip, four time ACC player. And Just he, a rookie, two years of professional basketball in Brazil before coming with the Trotters. Oh, tremendous. Outlet. Oh. Otis Key running the floor. So you see these guys getting after it. Rebound, continue the rebound, and a lot of this game early is an extension of what their practices are like because they really get after each other during practices. Juan Verser, by the way, on the line for the Trotters. Had some big plays during the 98 Los Angeles Summer League Championship. Yes, they competed with the best. A lot of pros playing in that Summer League out in L.A., as you're well aware of. These guys won the title. No question. I, I tell you what, Verser was known as a defensive specialist at Arizona State. Now, I don't know if he plays defense anymore. I had the same problem. At UNLV, I was a defensive player. Went to the pros, never played defense again. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the rock, right? Yeah, when you learn you can shoot it, nobody's going to yell at you. Jerome James trying to finish off the dunk. That's the way to finish it. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Jerome James, 7 feet 1, 300 pounds. My, oh, my, oh, my. Well, when you look at him, all you have to do is think Shaq size. We'll talk about that as Thibodeau knocks it off his leg and out of bounds. By the way, he's wearing Shaq shoes tonight is James, right? <laughs> Which is very funny because uh, Jerome wears a size 18. Shaq wears a 22. Oops. So there may be a little cotton or tissue or something in the toe with that shoe. Well, your toe is comfortable anyway. 8.22 to go in the opening period. Six point lead here for the Trotters as that time got inside hip, almost missed it up, but got up and puts it in. I tell you what, that was a solid back pick and Hip got him open wide just so he could get that dunk in, but that was a tremendous back pick. Nationals need a basket, and they got it, a three-point goal from the outside. And their captain, Troy Pennington, out of Methodist College, gets the three, and it's 8-3 to three in favor of the Trotters early on. Working the weave outside, Otis Key, one of the many Trotters that enjoyed the week in the park here at Disney World. Strip of the ball and turned the other way by Mike Shu. Well, Jerome did a bad thing. I always tell you, never take it down there where the little guys are. Knocked out of bounds by Key. It'll belong to the Nationals. Right underneath the basket. That's a goal 10 on Jerome James. But you got to do that a few times. Let them know you're around if you're going to goal 10. Right? Well, listen, when, you, when you're 7 feet, 300 pounds, there's a couple of things you have to do. You got to block a couple uh, ill-advised shots, and then you knock a couple of people down also. Let them know that that's what they're going to get if they come into the lane. So this belongs to me that's otherwise. That's exactly right. This is my house. 8-5, Trotters up by 3, 7-22 first period. We have just started here in Orlando. Nice little up and under move. And I tell you, x ray Hip, who, by the way, is three-quarter Cherokee Indian, is having a powwow of his own underneath the basket tonight. Thibodeau, nice little jumper for the man at 6'11 out of McNeese State. It's a good-looking shot for a big fella down 15 feet. Keeping it close, three-point lead, Trotters. By the way, under the basket, working hard, 
Reggie Phillips. Phillips was injured in January of 98 when they played their 20,000th game. He said it was one of the biggest disappointments he had to go through not getting to play in that game. Look at that shot by James. That was a pro shot. That was a jump hook shot six feet from the bucket. That's a big time basketball shot right there. Why is Jerome James playing here? NBA lockout, a second round draft pick of Sacramento. Got to play, keep in shape. It's a great way to stay in shape. And a young rookie like that has to keep his chops going. That's hip from outside. They can light it up from anywhere. What now, now Sam, we've seen x-ray hip on both sides of the floor. Shoot yeah. the jump shot, take it to the hole, and dunk already <laughs> in three minutes of basketball. And this is our first uh, opportunity to see him as a trotter. It's going to be a tough act to follow, though. Is he? He's, well, he's in the book, too, with a foul now. He's, in the, he's all over. The, he's just going wild. <laughs> he's everywhere. Going to the line, number 33, a new man for the Nationals, Doug Stewart out of Brown as X-ray hip. You know, this is a guy that, uh, again, a couple of years of pro in Brazil, had an opportunity to come to the tryout camps, even though he's invited earlier by the Trotters. And therein lies one of the big uh, situations with the Trotter. You have to earn that spot. You don't just, you don't get it handed to you. Well, I tell you, we'll, we'll get into this a, a lot more during this game, but one of the things that Manny Jackson wanted when he took over the team in 93 was to get the team's talent pool back up to par with where it used to be years ago. This was a team that was looked upon as being one of the best basketball teams in all of the world. That's man, one of Manny's goals to get this team back to that level. And these young guys like Hip and Jerome coming on here, I tell you, they're on their way. Versus shooting the jump shot, there's just so much talent out there. And you mix that talent with great showmanship, and you got a show. Stewart's foul shot makes it 15-7 on the Trotters. Say, let's take a timeout, and we will too. 5.53 left to go in Orlando tonight. Curly Neal looking on. We're back in a moment. I love it, I love it, I love it. You heard about Michael Jordan, you heard about Magic Johnson, and maybe some of you are too young for Magic Johnson, but I want you to know there was old timers like myself that started all this. See, I played with the Harlem Globetrotters. Played with the Harlem Globetrotters a long time ago when this all started behind the back, forward dribbling between the legs, and the Harlem Globetrotters started that, and all these people started to copy it. You understand? I played with them. And so when you're out there this Christmas, just remember the Harlem Globetrotters, they started all this. And you say, a Merry Christmas. But I want you all to know that I was one of the first people to play with the Harlem Globetrotters. You wish! <laughs> Wide World of Sports Complex here at Walt Disney World. Across the court, Amy Bender. She's in there with some real talent, Amy. That is actually very true. I'll tell you what, it's a very interesting deal. You're here in Orlando, you never know who you're going to find. How about this Bo Outlaw? I'll tell you, it was the NBA season, Bo. You may be on the road right now, but a little bit of free time for you. You enjoying the game? Yeah, um, it's a good game. You know, I know a couple of guys. I know everybody, actually. I just come down and support them. Well, it's good to have you here. Next to me on the left here is the president of the Globe Totters, Manny Jackson. Now, you've got some plans. I'm sure you'd like to get Bo Outlaw in uniform and get him out there. Yeah, Bo's been really a, a surrogate Harlem Globetrotter for six years. And do we think it's time for him to come home? What about that, Bo? Maybe second half? Can we dress you up, get you out there? We're thinking about it. It's a possibility. <laughs> More to come, it sounds like. Guys, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amy. As a matter of fact, Manny was a mentor. Yes. For Bo for six years, I think, and now he's uh, still has him under his wing. Well, Sam, it just goes along with the idea that Manny has for this team, and that is to get the best talent, mix it with the the show time, and have a show out here. I mean, he wants to get back to the days when they had the Wilt Chamberlains and the Connie Hawkins, the Mark Marcus Haynes, you know, the Sweetwater Cliftons. Now they got the young stars starting to play this game. And when people come to watch Trotter basketball, I tell you what, they see people see the talent on the floor and then they mix that with all the rings and all of the showtime things that they do, and people appreciate that. I know I do as a player. Absolutely, this crowd's enjoying as well. Phillips, by the way, hitting that jumper for the Trotters. Get that out of here, says James. Thibodeau says thank you for the assist and puts it back in. 17-10, 5-14 left to go. By the way, Phillips controlling the ball now on a two-time division championship team with Cal State Bakersfield. That's tough to do back-to-back. -to -back. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got a basketball name. That's why. See, guys like Phillips that has that first name, that his first name. What is his name? Reggie. You know, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. a great basketball name. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, X-Ray Hip, while you were gloating a bit there, <laughs> has knocked in another one outside. He's everywhere. <laughs> 
Ten point lead for the Trotters. See, Sam, during the course of this game, I'm going to hip you to hip. I'm going to let you. Oh, never mind. I won't, never, go, I won't go there. Mike Shu <laughs> puts down one for the Nationals. Three pointer, 2013. Closing in on the four minute mark of the first period tonight from Orlando. They're putting up those three pretty well. Whoa. Right now, Harlem uh, Globetrotters three for three out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not a miss, ladies and gentlemen. That was the set play, and boom goes hip. Now, you see the Globetrotters were three for three for, from the three-point line, so everybody on the floor thought Reggie that Phillips was shooting another three. So the Nationals bring it ahead. Christopher Parker out of Wilkes College is in, number seven. Probably again working outside. Mike Shu put down the three. You see versus a little more in his face. Good steal by Sinclair. That's excellent defense as the as the uh, national guy drove to the middle. Nice pickup defensively. Here they go with Gaffney. Nice feed and there. Ladies and gentlemen, all five feet eleven of him up there. That is Reggie Phillips putting it down. My Eat oh your heart out, Spud Webb. Oh. Rebound comes off to Phillips. And here comes Sinclair again with the ball for the Trotters. Ten point lead and here's the weave. And no, just see how tight it is. That is so tough to do and then to finish it with something like that. Is that called a regular assist when you kick it to the guy there? Well, unfortunately. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, remember back six, seven years ago when Spud Webb dunking the ball was oh, a big absolutely. deal? And yep. all Spud could do was dunk it with one hand. Reggie Phillips just did a reverse jam with two hands at 5'11". Paul Gaffney, I don't think, likes the call. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, my. Uh -huh. So Paul Gaffney called for the foul. Well, it's washable, sir. It's goofy anyway. I mean, put it that way. <laughs> At the line, shooting two shots, Doug Stewart out of Brown. Hey, listen, that guy over there is thinking about selling that shirt now. Who needs two Charles shots, Good buddy. to be a man here when you have Gavin? <laughs> hey, 32. Yes. He knows he has two shots. Everybody knows he has two shots. Everybody knows? Everybody. Well, let's see. Well, I think we're going to find out if everybody hey, knows Hey, little boy, him. how many shots? He doesn't know, Ralph. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> I thought you said everybody knew. No, that's, hey, that's I don't think Barry shots. Terry's going to win many of these tonight, is he? Hey, kid, it's two shots. 32? Yes. One side or the other. One side or the other. Right. Hey, man, you hear me? Yeah. He All said right, here one side or the other. Let's go to the other. Oh! 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 Down there. Down there. Right. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Such a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? I was going to say, if Doug Stewart even hits the basket, I would be surprised. And he <laughs> just jams it in. <laughs> Stewart gets them both. Trotters lead down at uh, 10 points again at 26-16, and the Trotters want to take a breather. Well, the Harlem Globetrotters have brought their memories, always different, always fun, here to Orlando, Florida. How about memories of the past? Well, Amy Bender standing by, I think, with a guy that had a bushel of those. Uh, Sam, that is so true. The Globetrotters experiencing a resurgence here in the 90s, similar to what was going on with the Globetrotters in the 70s. But the most common question asked of these current players, where's Curly Neal? What's he doing now? We're going to take a look back and forward at the life of Curly Neal. When Curly Neal was growing up in North Carolina, he dreamed of becoming a doctor. He wanted to help people. Looking back, minus the medicine, he's been able to do just that. We have to get some water out of the bucket over there. We only got one cup over there. 
Well, I'm doing all the drinking over Not here. Not tonight, Scott. Not to, give, give, give him the cup. Give him the cup, man. Give him the cup. <laughs> You know, I enjoy people. I enjoy kids and families, you know. Anytime I can do something for a charitable organization, you know, where uh, I'm so happy that Manny has done so much with the United Way. You know, we sign autographs for kids, the Special Olympics, handicapped children. Any way that we can help people as a whole, uh, a handshake, mm -hmm. a kiss on the cheek, a rub on the head, or something like that, makes the globe Globetrotters world. And that's why we are the ambassadors, because we give so much back. Curly Neal is still known as one of basketball's greatest dribblers. He gave one of the game's most elementary movements some style. But basketball aside, it was the picture-perfect grin and bald head that endeared him to the fans. It was a, a fad in the neighborhood. You know, I was 12 years old. We wanted to do something mischievous, you know, make our parents upset or whatever. So they got my hair, my hair shaved, and, you know, I always told my mother that, uh, she said, what happened to you here? I said, well, I went to sleep in the barber's chair. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I started that from junior high school and went on through high school and college. You know, it just became a part of me. That mischievous kid went on to play in more than 7,000 games in 97 countries around the world. Despite retiring from the court, he'll always remain close to the magic. Once a globe trotter, always a globe trotter. And being named senior ambassador is, is great pride and joy just to be a part of this Globetrotter organization now in 1999. And we have so many things, Manny Jackson has so many things planned for the guys. You know, we're gonna do a Columbia picture coming up. And maybe in uh, 2001, we might have a deal with uh, playing the NBA Dream Team mm -hmm. on pay-per-view, which would be great. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we're going back to South Africa, I think next year to see uh, Nelson Mandela. But uh, being an ambassador is just the life of my life. And look who we found here in the stands in Orlando, an Orlando resident, Curly Neal, his wife Rose is here. Welcome to the game. Thank you, Amy. It's good to be here uh, with a lot of laughs and fun and joy. You know, with the Harlem Globetrotters, everybody's thrilled and uh, we're going to have much more fun tonight. We talked about in the story that you're still involved with the Globetrotters so much. If you quickly can just tell us, what does the senior advanced ambassador do? I know you're busy all over the country for this team. Well, as being a player before, you know, we carry fun and laughter and uh, enthusiasm all over the world. and. Uh, and uh, matter of fact, I've uh, opened up uh, having dinners with uh, some of the special fans that she has always fun and always members with the Globe Trotters. And uh, this is an institution for so many, 73 years, so we like to keep these new uh, Globe Trotters out there, keep it carrying on. You're known for that spinning. I'm going to grab a ball. Maybe later on you can give me some tips. Oh, sure. I'll be happy to. We'll check in later on. Back to you guys. Thank you, Amy, and hello to Curly Neal. Nice to have him with us tonight as the Trotters on their routine oh, with a nice little right Paul Gaffney. Oh, I got him again. Take it right there. We'll make that thing scream again. How you feel that stuff? Make that thing hop. Make that thing move. There you go now again. Make that thing scream. You got that thing hopping. Oh, don't worry about that. I got everybody in control. Don't worry. Oh, take it here. Watch out! Now it's set up. Here oh, comes, comes the wild thing. Michael Wilson, that's the man that slam dunked over 11 feet, 11 inches. Unbelievable jump. Just incredible. And also one time in practice, he slam dunked over 12 feet, which is really amazing. 12 feet. Give me a trampoline. I was going to say, even a stepladder wouldn't help me. <laughs> Another foul called here. Sam, something tells me if they picked you up and set you in front of the basket, you miss. Now, let's not get personal. <laughs> Thibodeau, nice rebound inside, stripped clean by Miller. Make that Phillips, excuse me, that's out of bounds, belongs to the Nationals. Closing seconds of this first period as Paul Gaffey tries to get everybody involved in the game. Go back here, lady. I got him, we all right. Watch the pink. You okay? Got a little time out of the way. Watch the pink right. So where you going, Paul Hedding, man? Chris Turner played his college ball at Wilkes College. They out of bounds, close shutter ball. ball. <laughs> time out. Time out. Oh, time in. <laughs> Two points. No basket. But I call time in. No, no, no. You call time out. No basket. You call time out. <laughs> hey, fella. Hey, fella. Hey, look, man. We on TV. <laughs> hey, look. Uh -oh. Wait a minute, man. You're on the muscle. Hey, what channel is that? ESPN2. ESPN2. Okay. Hi, Hi ESPN2. ESPN2. We watch ESPN2 all the time. 
Hey, there's another one. Uh oh. <laughs> right. Right. This can That's go ESPN on. That's ESPN right there. I can see it on the sign. That's ESPN. Oh, okay. That's ESPN. Okay. okay. Hi, Hi, ESPN. We, we watch ESPN, ESPN sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We love ESPN. I love you so much, I'm going to give you a big old kiss. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Stay there. Watch this. Hey, Ralph. What? You want to be on TV? Yeah. <laughs> Fix your hair first. Okay. Hey, look, that's ESPN. Okay. So do as I do. All okay. right. All right. Say, hi, ESPN. Hi, ESPN. Hey, where'd it go, baby? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You got some Denzel Washington. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, all right. I got yeah. one more thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Like this. Say, we love <laughs> you. ESPN. We love you, ESPN. ESPN, take a picture of Hey, 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 you need a big screen TV to get I out of here. I had a feeling he was in trouble from the start of this, you know what I mean? Hey, how do feel, sir? We got love. Sir, hop. Talk to me one time. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Yeah, right, Blue. Paul Gaffney, he's a good one. <laughs> Tennessee Wesley, and now his sixth year. As a matter of fact, he takes part as a summer instructor of the Trotters Youth right, Camps sir. in 10 different cities right. each summer. Well, if he's a come business uh, major in school, he also has right. a custom right clothier shop. He's a, a clothes horse, so I take quite an exception right. to that. Talk to me what? Hey, watch out! Oh, my goodness, Boom. Take that thing right there. Make that thing pop. Talk to me one time. We want right the here. side. Take it right there. Oh, There's Phelps oh, again. Oh, my. Oh, Reggie can definitely get up. Explosive. They call him one of the first step players that has the quickest first step they've seen in a long, long time. And obviously, some great jumping ability. 30 16. Fighters with the lead. Under a minute to go. First period. See, Sam, that's a bad combination. With Reggie Phillips having a quick first step and can jump like he can jump. That's double trouble. You're in real trouble. Parker trying to get a shot inside and out of bounds. Trying to ball. No, they didn't call it. Bursar with a rebound, and the Trotters have it. Half a minute to go in the hand in the period. Weave is on. Paul Gaffney along with Michael Wilson playing along the post. That tight. Keep it on me. Woo! Ten seconds. Something's got to happen Woo! here. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Boom. Wow. And that's the period punctuation mark by Michael Wilson. Again out of Memphis. World record in the slam dunk, and he shows you why as he tomahawks at home. And young and old, they enjoy the first period. Trotters go out of here leading 32 16 after one. My favorite Globe Trotter memory. My favorite Globe Trotter memory would have to be oh, oh, when they showed up on Gilligan's Island. I mean, out of nowhere, there's the Harlem Globetrotters. Come on, you're on a deserted island. There's Meadowlark Lemon. Come on. Come on with me on this. Tell me that's not a great moment. It's a terrific moment. I've always been a sports nut. That's my favorite moment. <laughs> well, I, they went to 116 countries. Did we count Gilligan's Island as one of those? I don't know if that's a country, but I tell you what, if anybody could have saved them from, from Gilligan's Island, it could have been the Globetrotters. Oh, my goodness. Two players have come in, including, and you'll get a good look at him, the tallest player ever to play for the Harlem Globetrotters. His name is Doot Maillard, seven feet, six and a half inches. Thus, he wears 76 and a half on the back of his uniform. You'll see him coming out in a moment as they get squared for the start of the second period and there he is and that doesn't show you the half of him <laughs> second year tallest player in the team history well I tell you what he's he's following the footstep of uh, quite a few African players that have come over here and done great things Olajuwon Matumbo Manute Bo don't tell me he looks like he could be Manute's brother he could indeed again big guy actually played uh, a year of junior college basketball mm -hmm. Frank Phillips Junior College out on the Texas Panhandle and now he's playing for the Trotters. They also have in the game, a uh, hip has come back into the game. Also, we'll get a good look at double zero. Robert Fairley out of Jackson State led his club to 
a SWAC Conference Championship and an appearance in the NCAA. And Jerome James comes back into the game as well for the Trotters. When we're talking about Morris, he's also a guy who didn't play any high school basketball, and he was voted by his teammates as being most improved. I tell you what, when you're seven foot six, you're a project no matter what, how you come over here, and he has really been developing. They're called by the Trotters, one of the hardest working guys you'll find in the practices as they try to work it inside, and Hip will lose it. The Nats will get it back. 32 16, 9 38. We're just underway here in the second period. Shot rims out from outside by Mike Shue. Rebound comes off to Parker. Going it right back up and good is going to be Brett Nichols out of Western Connecticut State as he puts down a three. Phillips again working outside. That's a good look at Fairley. Big smooth. They got an upstairs look at him that time as he puts it down. 6'10, 235. They call him, they call him so smooth, but he's big smooth. I tell you what, when you're that big and can move like that. Can take a lot of room out of the defensive side for sure. A push shot outside. Well, they just come in for a couple of good ones. Long range. You see there. They shoot a lot of long jumpers, and that gets them in trouble a lot of times because what happens is the Globe Trotters have got big rebounders in there, and they're not getting many second chance shots. Should I tell you how big they are? Seven six and a half, seven one, and six eleven. As seven feet one puts one in. That's James Parker with the ball. Uh-oh. James uh -oh. over for a block, cleaning it out inside. You got to have more than that coming in there with those big fellas. Phillips in for the little soft layup. If you're going against triple towers like this, you got to go in with the right hand, Sam. And as soon as they get up in there, you got to switch to the left. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Well, sometimes. <laughs> That's a nice little feed inside, and Stewart caught James leaning the wrong way and lays it in on him. Nationals trying to make a little run here. It's 38-24, seven and a half to go in the first half. Backdoor cut. Hip was trying to hit fairly down the baseline, but misses a steal. The Nationals playing some good defense last two times down court, getting them back into this ball game. Nichols missing that three. Rebound comes off to Fairly. Phillips in heavy traffic. Getting the ball down low. There's Fairley with a little fall away out of Jackson State. First team all swack as he turns for a nice jumper. 16 to 35. Not bad. We've seen him drive and pulls up for the J. Hey, that's why he helped take his team to the, uh, the, the swack title. And the big dance for the first time. The NCAA playoffs. Rodgers with a rebound on the miss. Oh, yes. Yeah, spin with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't need to tell you. You didn't need to have the man jump. He no. can dunk without getting off the floor. He says, way to go. All he did is get on his tiptoes. That's it. <laughs> my, my. They call it tippy toe dunk. 42-24 Trotters. Duke yes. will knock it out of bounds. Let's take a look at the replay here. Well, I tell you what, you got three guys over there standing 6'10 plus. It's really tough. You got to go in there with a little more than just a straight layup. Jumper out of the corner by Pennington, their team captain, and the man from Methodist puts it down, 6-2, 205. Nice soft jumper outside for three. Well, that was a nice penetration by Shue and the kick out. Drive and kick, that's all basketball, drive and kick. No matter on what level, where you play, the game is played by driving and kicking the open men. James running for the one-hander. Rebound saved by the Nats. I see something stirring on the Trotter. What's going on here? It was wrong. Hey, Matt Jackson. Hey, blow the horn while the game's going on. <laughs> okay, sir, I'm sorry about that. Hey, hey, hey. Now she did it. Tell hey, her. You can't blow the horn while the like, game's going on, lady. That's right, lady. You just can't do it. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Now. Okay. Amy's in big trouble already. Yeah, I tell I you tell. what. Always doing something, Amy. <laughs> right, we're on your side, Amy. I trust us. Time out. I think the Trotters want to take a timeout too, and I think that Matt is finally going to get his point. I think he's going to come in. <laughs> so the other of the clown prints for the Trotters is on his way. Matt Jackson of the Trotters coming back after this timeout.
Well, we thought they used all their energy up here at uh, Walt Disney World earlier today. Apparently not so, as the youngsters are having themselves quite a time. And the nice thing about it is Paul Gaffney is warming up on the sideline. He's now giving away to Matt Jackson on the floor to start the second period. Family fun, and it's certainly here with the Trotters playing. Nationals with the ball. Again, they trail 44-27. You will now hear the fourth member of our broadcast team. That, of course, is Matt Jackson with the microphone. And the Triders come off with the bound, and Mercer has come back into the game. Sinclair handling the ball. Boo Johnson is in. That's Matt Jackson on the post. Uh oh, Pennington may be in trouble here. Between his legs. <laughs> There's nothing he can do about it. Well, he's taught to watch his man, right, uh, Reggie? <laughs> hey. Leave him alone. Yeah, hot dog. Yeah. Three. Rising for three, Verser. Uh oh. Rebound comes on. Mike Shue will work it ahead for the Nationals. 4.14 to go. First no, half. Myself. Hobley working for the first time inside. Hold down. I tell you what, the hold one down, thing you I'm never have a problem with when you're watching the Harlem Globetrotter game, the high school coaches will tell the kids all the time, communicate, yes, communicate. There's no <laughs> lack of communication out here. Uh oh, I got it. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, foul. Oh, I think foul, he's fouled badly. Foul, and Matt foul agrees. On one five in the green. The little midget did it. <laughs> we want two shots. Hey! Uh. Job. We'll do it. The foul is on one five in the green. The little midget did it. <laughs> we want two shots. That's exactly what I said. Sound like an echo in here, doesn't it? You know, I, I was watching Barry Terry going back into the back. He's mumbling to hey, himself hey, already, hey. you know. <laughs> How many shots? Two shots. Are you sure about that? Yes, it's just a moment. Hey, ref. What? How many shots? Two shots. How many you say? Two shots. That's four shots, sir. <laughs> That's four shots. <laughs> huh? That's two shots. That's no, no, no. That's just two, two shots. Two plus two That's is two four That's all over the world, bottom even bottom. in Disney. No, no, no. Yeah, Tonight. I did. I did. Two. Uh, two. 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 No, no, I did. That's why I'm working with the globe, huh? Where'd you go to school? University of Florida? Oh. Oh, yeah. That'll get him up there. <laughs> a few gators uh, walking okay? around. You can also hear a few Seminoles Wolf in here. Water? No, thanks. Okay, take your time. We need it. You know, Matt is such a friendly hey, guy. Hey, he buddy, his teammates some you water. water? You see that? What a nice, nice guy. guy. <laughs> uh -oh. I tell you what. Hey, Kelly! If you need me, I'll be over here with my friends. Hot dog. I'll be sitting on this lady's lap. Hot dog. Hey, you got a nice lap. Hey, Kelly. Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Everybody wave at you. Hey, Kelly. Hi. Boy, they love you. Hey, he's good too. Watch the shot. He's good. Yeah. Hot dog. Wow, the nice shot. Nice shot. Did you, it, Did you see it? What happened to the cup of water? It's in the stands. Did you see that? Somebody, Somebody got it. wet. In. You threw water on all those people. Uh oh. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry about that. Are y'all okay? Hey, but it wasn't my fault. You know what happened? I was sitting in this lady's lap, and when Curly made that shot, she got all excited and touched my leg, and the water just went out of my hand. Shame on you, lady. <laughs> you guys, baby, how you feel? Hot dog. Somehow through all of that. Talk to me one time. Curly Johnson was able to hit there. two free throws all right? during all of that happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, you in good shape, Stewart trying to stay with it for the Nets. Hobley will try to score and does. Three minutes in rolling here in the second period, 44-29. Oh, it is Christmas time, isn't it? You guys crack me up. Hot dog, how you feel that one? Bring that thing in, son. Hot dog, oh, I miss you right there. Miss you. Hot dog, here you go. Bob Doug Stewart got a hat out of the deal anyway, didn't he? 
Basket by oh, Matt oh, oh, Jackson. Let's oh, oh. back for a little lay in. Boo oh, Johnson yes, is a long well, line. There one time. I think he may be getting warmed oh, up goodness. here. Yes, sir. How do you feel, sir? Oh, uh, yeah. Hot dog. Clyde Sinclair. Boo right yeah. Johnson is on the sir. roll. Oh, do that thing right there. Pat that ball right there. I tell you what. How do you feel? This is one of the things I was talking to Tex before the game. He said if people come to see a globe trotter game and there's about three different rings that they have to do, or it's just not a globe trotter game, and that's one of them right there. Yes. The basket's good by Curly. Ooh, Johnson. Oh, my. You know, they talked about Marcus Hayes, certainly Curly Neal with us tonight, and Boo, many of them, even Curly says, you know, he may be as good, if not better, than both of us put together. You have to compliment. But he had some great ones to watch to get that good. And you always have to give props to the guys that come before you. Well, the Trotters want to call a timeout. They're not finished before the half, though, with a minute 33 to go. Their lead is mushroomed up to a 50 to 31 lead. We're back with more from Orlando in a moment. Memory tour is starting here in Orlando with the Trotters up 50 to 31. Remember the kids we saw at the start of the game? Yeah. Let's check in with Amy Bender and see how they're doing. Amy? They're having a great time over here. They're practically on the bench. We'll show it to you a little bit later. They're right at the end of the Harlem Globetrotters bench. They've been enjoying the show. Guys, uh, how about that dribbling just a minute by Curly? What'd you think? That was awesome. Uh, when they went um uh, when that guy was there, he kept on spinning on the floor and uh, kept on dribbling around him. Kendall, can yeah. you do that? Yeah. Maybe someday, huh? We're going to continue watching from over here. They want to see some slam dunks. Maybe the second half we'll see a little bit more of that. Back to you guys. Well, hello there. You know, I have a feeling that she has seen a few Harlem Globetrotter games. Hey, you know, there are people that they, they tell me that walk up and say, listen, I've seen you guys 50 times, and I still love you every single time. Who, by the way, in addition to being the outstanding yes, dribble you saw a I moment ago, like that, hit nine yeah. consecutive like three-point goals like this, in the game. Uh, yes, he He's go, a sir. tremendous Put shooter. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Hot dog. He hit. Hailing from I Dubuque, did. Iowa. This time, they tomahawk it with Michael Jackson. Well, what happened is the timing was a little bit better that yes, time. Yep. A little bit closer to the basket, a little bit higher toss. Right, Michael Jackson, I don't think, would uh, get close to that one. Michael Wilson does. <laughs> Michael Wilson. Wilson. Should have put down the jumper outside. Minute to go here in the first half. I feel. Try next half. I feel good. I think he's improvising well, now, don't you think? Want that, son. I feel left. Riders on the wing on the shot. outside again, closing one, one minute. Right I, I tell you what, if you're going to be a showman for the for yeah. the Trotters, you got to be able to improvise. Yeah. Whoa, hot dog. Come on back up. Yeah! That's gonna run him to death. <laughs> but he's also gonna get. Oh, yeah, look how. Ooh. Oh, my. Now that's getting up, wild thing. Nice little ready, bounce ready. pass by Matt Jackson. I tell you I what, he had his elbow in the rim. Hey, what? The uh, Nationals heating up from outside as Brett Nichols down, puts down another here. three. 54 42, closing moments of the first half. Take your time like this, son. I feel. Memories always different. Give me one time Certainly right always fun here tonight at Walt Disney like World. Time, Let me feel it one time. Potter starting their memories tour of 1999. Let's go, son. Kick that thing here, son. I feel. Hot dog. Ah, yes, sir. Keep it on top. Top, 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 top. Let's go, Clyde. Let's go, Clyde. Let's go. The Harlem Gold Miss Trotters. you right there. Miss you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Matt Jackson <laughs> scores at the buzzer and the half is over. Where did that ball go for a moment? <laughs> so Matt Jackson and the Trotters enjoy the first half and Matt has promised us he's going to try to hit that half court shot one more time. The Globetrotters are uh, also known as the Ambassadors of goodwill. They always spread goodwill worldwide. It's what they're known for, but uh, they've got a competitive edge as well. And you ask some of the opponents they play. You come up on the other end of this one, you know how hard they work. The Globetrotters are always welcome in any gym worldwide. One of their latest stops was in Beirut, Lebanon, where they faced the very best from the Lebanese Basketball Federation. The competitive game was played using international rules 
And as is the case 98% of the time, the most popular visiting team in the world went on to win. That was a very uh, challenging game for us to play four different teams in one night, uh, each team one quarter. And to match the, team, the fresh team's intensity, we had to really dig down deep inside ourselves. But uh, fortunately, we were. We had a good nucleus of guys, and uh, we did that. We overcame that challenge, and we won. Other competitive games lately have included a first-place finish in the 1998 L.A. Summer Pro League, a matchup with the 97 College All-Star team, and a series of games with a team headed up by Hall of Famer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And by the way, it was in that series back in 95 that the Globetrotters suffered their most recent loss. The Globetrotters' competitive nature dates back to its roots. A memorable matchup in 1948 had the Globetrotters taking on the NBA champion Minneapolis Lakers. More than 17,000 fans were on hand at Chicago Stadium to witness the Globetrotters' 61-59 victory. The outcome was the same for the much-anticipated rematch one year later. I think people who saw those games have never forgotten them. And I think the impact that, that the globetrotter laker contest had on sport has probably been unforgotten, too. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that, that people finally realize the greatness of those who were forgotten. And when the Globetrotters beat the, the Lakers, it brought to the conscience of the world how great these athletes were and that they had tried to forget. And that legacy has gone on, carries on even today, with un unforgotten ball players seemingly playing great basketball today for the Globetrotters. That latest competitive game in Beirut wrapped up the 98 season. This year, for 1999, the Globetrotters will play 200 and 50 games. They're starting right here tonight. It is time to start the second half. Stay with us when we come back. More basketball action from here in Orlando. Here's our score at halftime, 56-42 with the Trotters leading the Nationals. Sam Smith along with Reggie Theus here again at courtside. And Reggie, we have seen, of course, the memory makers. We've seen good competition and a good first half of basketball so far. A lot of competition out there, Sam, and I'm just enjoying it. It's amazing. No matter how many times you see these guys come out and play, it always puts a smile on your face. It's just amazing and really, truly competitive basketball. Well, we have an unusual amount of stats that have been handed to us. I'm not sure they're the most common that <laughs> uh -oh. we've ever had. Let's take a look at some of the stats of the first half. All right, Phil goes, dunks, <laughs> three points, rebounds. Now that's interesting. Dunks, <laughs> eight to one in favor of the Glow Trotters. Field goal percentage, look at 63%. That's pretty amazing. And I tell you what, they started off hot from three point line, but they really cooled off. And look at rebounds, those passes, just, huh? I tell you what, the rebounds, they're just killing them on. And it passes 223 to 45. And a ball moving by the Trotters, always delightful. Now, I think the one thing we have to get out there is some of their passes are great, but then we got some style point passes. And Curly Boo Johnson, look at this. Unbelievable. That is a lot of practice. Don't try this at home, folks. This is for the professionals here. Well, only try it if you feel like <laughs> dusting the floor. And Boo gets a basket at the end of his routine. And, of course, the crowd ready for the start of the second half, and we will be, too. And they're we'll raising the roof. They are indeed here in Orlando, back after this timeout. Memories tour starting for the Harlem Globetrotters, getting off to a good first-half start, 56-42 over the New York Nationals. Sammy Smith uh, along with Reggie Theus and Amy Bender working with you here in Orlando. And thanks for the basketball game. Well, you're quite welcome. Globetrotters on ESPN. We've had some great times with them, and we have just begun to battle as the paraphernalia from the nearby Walt Disney World is in a right here tonight as well. I tell you what, anytime you come to Walt Disney World, you got to take home a Mickey Mouse. Look at that, 115 countries in 72 seasons, starting year number 73 for the Harlem Globetrotters. And Sam, did you hear Amy say that they're going to play about 250 games this year all over the world? That, that's just amazing. Roughly about 180 here in the States. The rest of them are overseas. We start with James back in, the big fella on the post. There's Miller, make that uh, Phillips, excuse me, back in running the show. And the jumper outside. Thibodeau off with a rebound for the Nationals. They trail by 14 to start the third. And I tell you what, the Nationals are within striking distance. 14 points, not a lot of points when you can shoot threes. He's battling for the big rebound inside. Knocking uh, Mintis away, 6'10", number 44. St. Julian with a miss, Key with a rebound and scores. Otis Key, just a rookie. 
led the MIAA conference in rebounds, averaging a dozen a, a game, and also scored at 18 points per game as well. New rookie for the Trotters. Sam, I asked Otis what it was like being a rookie with the Harlem Globetrotters, and he said, Reggie, it's a little bit different. See, when you're in the league, you have a major league hierarchy. But when you're a Harlem Globetrotter, you're just a Harlem Globetrotter. <laughs> you are indeed. You are part of a team. And that's where that was really nice that he said that. X-ray hip from Maryland puts it down. X-ray second year of uh, pro basketball in Brazil now has brought him back to the United States. Started 98 consecutive games in Maryland. Started 119 of 121 game for the Terrapins. A durable, durable athlete. Riders trying to push it with an 18 point lead. Left hand by Key, stumbles for the rebound, puts it up and scores. Young this fella. had a nice little game going. The young fella, he gave, him a, he gave him a kiss and two victory fingers. That must be a sweet spot. You know, Reggie, one of the things about becoming a trotter, yes, they look at athletic ability, but the one thing that uh, Manny Jackson says you have to be is a good person on top of that. And that's just as important. It may be even more than 50-50 for that. Well, I tell you what, it's important that they're able to do all things. X-ray hip on the fast break, takes his time, and obviously going to give you a little something for the replay. X-ray's father is a full-blood Cherokee Indian. X-ray, by the way, in Cherokee stands for Little Brave, and that's exactly where he got that first name. A very gifted athlete, and again, he's put on quite a show here tonight. Well, he's a three-time Argo mentioned in the Atlantic Coast Conference. All-conference player from Maryland. A lot of talent out there. Exactly. Nichols for a couple of free throws. Seven and a half to go here in the third period. The Triders lead 62-44. Phillips running the attack along with X-ray hip on the outside. James on the post. Key along with St. Julian also in. And X-ray hip. Well, he may have a great time. Nichols, nice little bounce pass, trying to go through traffic, knocked out of bounds, and Barry Terry makes the call to the Nationals here. In addition to playing the Nationals, as it's knocked away by St. Julian, we've already told you about the competitive spirit of the Harlem Globetrotters. In the works, of course, is another competitive game against the college All-Stars coming up in 1999. Well, that would be something. Seven uh, first round draft picks, by the way, went down hard to the Trotters in 1998. As you see how well their ball movement is for a layup by St. Julian, who, by the way, was the MVP of that game against the All Stars in 1998. He not only came up with a very solid game, scoring a, a total of 17 points, but 13 rebounds to go along with that. And I think that it just, what those kind of games do, they really add credibility to the talents and the ability of the Globetrotters because as we said earlier, the fans love to see the Showtime stuff, but when you mix the Showtime with real athleticism, that's when you get a real competitive team. By the way, they had uh, some guy, I wanna, let's see, his name was uh, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, that's matter. right. James with a nice little lay on the big fella at 7-1 out of Florida A&M. And see, I've had a little experience of playing on one of these barnstorming teams, so to speak, because I played with Irvin's team, Magic Johnson's traveling team, wait, wait for a three minute. years. Six people out here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, why don't you get off and it'll be even? <laughs> Six men on the floor here for against the Trotters. Matt Jackson getting an easy layup, but I wonder why. Not even the Globe Trotters can do that and get away with it. They, well, uh, Jackson is uh, well, going to stay in, so they had to exit one. Jackson along with Boo Johnson along with uh, Clyde Sinclair. Listen, I wouldn't argue with him too much. He's 6'4", 230 pounds, used to play football. He can punch. <laughs> Interesting enough to not play college basketball. Started playing basketball for real when he went to the Air Force. 
Well, he was in, touch in high school. He played high school basketball and football and lettered in both sports. So, I mean, what you're looking at, well, the reason we're bringing this up is because we're saying that he's a great athlete. He is indeed, and he and his team will take a rest, though. 444 left to go in the third. We're back with more Twitter basketball in a moment. Well, these fans are certainly celebrating here for the Harlem Globetrotters, but you know, over the last 72 years, the Trotters have done more than just entertain people in the stands. They have opened their hearts. They've given something back to basketball. The charitable side of the Trotters is always up front. On the court, the Harlem Globetrotters are the magicians of basketball. Off the court, they are the ambassadors of goodwill. The players reach out to local communities and youth around the world with empowering messages. Each season, the Globetrotters are involved in a number of different charities, organizations such as the United Way, Save the Children's, Parkinson's Disease, UNCF, Success by Six, Overcoming Obstacles, Paralyzed Veterans of America, Nelson Mandela's Children's Fund, and the American Refugee Committee, just to name a few. Last year, the team made a historical return to Omaha's Boys Town, challenging the youth to strive for success. It's wonderful. It really lights up. It makes your job worthwhile. If you can bring something to someone's life and make them feel a whole lot better, even in a time that they may not want to feel better, but if you can bring happiness to them, that's a healing medicine that has been going on for years. Not only have the Globetrotters used basketball as a universal love to connect with youngsters around the USA, they've touched millions of lives around the globe. In 1996 and 1997, the team visited South Africa and made a special performance at President Nelson Mandela's birthday party, providing a lifetime of memories for the children in attendance. Since Manny Jackson purchased the team in 1993, the Harlem Globetrotters have made over 25,000 charitable appearances and have raised over $5 million for youth organizations around the world. And Sam, in 1998, they even had time to come help me out with the Summer Jam 98 in San Diego, and I really appreciate that from player to player. So as Reggie has been a part of the charity activities going on around the country with the Trotters, Trotters are back to work, and a slam dunk by Mr. St. Julian. Nice little pass by and Curly that's Johnson. That's when they work perfectly. That was a great pass by Curly Johnson. What makes a ream, what does it take to make a good ream, do you think? Well, you know, it's very difficult. Talking to Tex before the game, he says, Reggie, it starts off as an idea and a concept, and it takes five or six different games to actually perfect them. And he says, you know what? Over 30 years, I've been sitting here doing the coaching and, and watching, and every time I see a ream, I can pick out one or two little things that can make it better. So we're constantly making them better. Oh, yes, sir changing little things here and there. Oh, yes. did you see that pass by Matt Jackson? Between his legs, slapped it in, and they get a slam dunk out of it again by Verser. And wow. Sam, and then what he said was most important. He said, even though the rings are part of the show, he said, what makes it go are the showmen. Hey, Bill. Trotters are the lead. One thing down here, one time. Come on, Patak. Get it right there. Oh, they got hey. all five of the Trotters in the lead. Hey, uh, and Boo Johnson's got a friend here. Kelly! Hey, hey Kelly! Hey, hey. Who is this? I have no idea. What? <laughs> no, Mr. Referee. This is our good friend, Cabrielle. She's going to do a little magic for us, so time out. All right. Time out for time Cabrielle. Time out for Cabrielle. <laughs> She just came right out of the stands. Boo just went over and said, would you like to take part in this? And well, she must have a special talent. Oh, my. January 1998, we lived a great memory, and this young lady is getting one right now. Look at this. Yes, sir. Now, Sam, do you think nice job, Gabrielle. for the rest Gabrielle. of her life, Look what we have for you. that it will be a memory? Jump it will indeed. Oh, my. She says, give me that basketball. And she's aggressive, too. <laughs> Don't say you're going to give it to me if you're not going to do it. <laughs> and Boo Johnson, along with Mr. Uh, well, Dr. Off. Klein, helped get the young lady back in the seat as another memory has been made here again in Orlando. I just saw that little girl spin the ball on her finger and I said if there's anybody that could show me how to do that it would be you. Sure, it's magic. And my fingers are the most uncoordinated fingers in the world. Are you ready? I think we can make something work. Good luck to you. Almost. 
One more time. One more time. I think you use so much nail polish. Let's go back to the little girl. She's tons okay, better than I, I am. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thanks for trying that. Thank you, Curly Neal. So Paul Gaffney along with the Globy doing their best to keep this crowd up and Mr. Gaffney, showtime. He's out of there right now. Matt Jackson is the man into the third period. Let's see if Gaff's going to try this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> Gaffney's in his sixth year. Was honored as Mr. Globetrotter during the 1998 season. There's Matt Jackson is back out. He'll be playing here in the third as our clown prince. Matt Jackson and Paul Gaffney, both of them have their own clothing line, which cracks me up. And rather stylish, I might Yes, add. they are. I told him I told him I was going to say something to start an argument with him. They're going to try it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's only an hour show here. <laughs> 21. No. We're back as the weave is on again. All right, sir. One thing right there. All right, no. Give it to us, sir. I don't want it. You take it. Mercer and Jackson. Oh, that's a no look. I tell you what, he had to throw that from the side of his head. On shot. On shot. Versa with a great pass up and Phillips does another one. You're going to tell me that didn't take a lot of time and a lot of practice to get that right. Versa off for the rebound and the Nationals miss. 75 54. You remember he played football? He played football. He had a flashback here. A wide receiver in college. Why not? You was running with the ball. Well, I can't fly with it. Get out of here. Where's my ball? Where's my ball? Let's go. Oh, man. You know, it's interesting. In college, he was a quarterback and a wide receiver. I, he may have had his uh, priorities a little different here. And look at that. Versa with the alley oop. No look alley oop. Oh, my. I tell you what. Phillips was an incredible dunk. That's a long range three pointer by Mike Shue out of Lock Haven College. Trying to keep the Nats as close as they can here in the third. Who Johnson? Well, I think he's on. He looks like the Pony Express going here now. <laughs> Barry Terry getting a. Well, he's called. He's got to call himself for traveling, doesn't he? He's got to do something. What to got? What you got uh -oh. in the bucket? Uh -oh. <laughs> Do you have enough for me? I got enough for you. And that whole section right over there. Hot dog. Hey, hey, no Kelly. Hey, no Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. What? Hey, man, hey, hey, hey. What? I want some of that water. Not tonight. Hey, Kelly. Hey, come on, give me some of that water. Go and get it. Hurry up. Hurry up and get the cup. Hurry up. Why'd you give him a cup of water? Hey, hey! Got it! No, 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 brother. Sit down, man. Hey, 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 hey! What? Now I want some of that water, and I want it right now. I told you once, no. <laughs> Whoa. Give me the water. Give me the water. Give me. He got it. Oh, no. You done did it, buddy. Uh oh. Uh did you see what happened? Did you see it? Matt may not. Uh, Did you see it? Be able to catch up with Boo, but when he does, Snap he may be in big trouble it, here. Put the kid down. Oh. Put the kid down. Boo's trying to hide. Put here. that kid down. You better move, kid. You better run, kid. Behind me. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Terry, the referee. Uh oh, Matt's got, he's got still in another bucket here. Uh oh. Where did Boo go? He's, is he still well, I'm hiding? I'm going to get him, coach. I'm going to get him, coach. Oh, no. Watch out. Watch out. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know that clothing shop? You'll be getting me a new suit, bud. <laughs> what happened to the confetti? <laughs> now that's new. 
Oh my! Thanks. Thanks. Uh, uh, you talk about memories. Oh my! Thanks. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh no. We even have to relive this thing. Oh no. <laughs> what happened to the confetti is what I want to know. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Oh my goodness, Sam. Never. Oh, never. My. Did I think that anything like that would happen? And in our misery, they're dancing in the aisles. Have you noticed? <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Hey, that's called gotcha, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that's called living the moment. I got you with your ears. Oh, my. Uh, he will be. Uh, they got the clothing shop, so right. they'll take care of this. <laughs> well, that's what Ooh. happens. It's called memories. As Matt Jackson, uh, yeah, he owes you something, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, I can see. Oh, hey, there's people saying, oh, and he thinks he's just so they cool. I'm up. glad they wet his suit. Hey, Bill. <laughs> Keep that thing here one time. Hey, I got it. Hey, let's up. let's get back to the like action right on the court now. Da, 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 the da, weave da, is da, on. Da, 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 this weave da, looks da, a little da, spotty da, through da, these glasses, da, I might da, add. Da, da. Let's go, Clyde. Let's go. Closing yeah. seconds of the third. Oh, off his head. And Mr. Phillips finishes off with one, two, three, four, five assists off the backboard. Thank you, Matt Jackson, for an early shower. Thank you, Harlem Globetrotters, for a third period of basketball as Keith Salisbury welcomes his club along with Tech Harrison to the sideline. And we are through with three periods here tonight in Orlando. We're back after this timeout. Give me that towel, will you? Oh, thank you for the memory. <laughs> well, we get ready to start the fourth period, a 77-57 lead by the Trotters as the final 10 minutes of basketball is forthcoming here at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. By the way, Michael Wilson, uh, the wild thing, is over next to, of course, Mr. Manny Jackson, the president and CEO of the Harlem Globe Trotters. Michael, you may recall, had some uh, stomach problems back in January of 1998 during the 20,000th game. And now he's on the sideline with Manny Jackson again. Number three that leads back in is number three that's hip. He plays with key catch on the sideline. Otis Key with a nice take to the basket. That drop steps, puts it down and goes. Paul Gaffney uh, doing a different type of stretching exercise. <laughs> His best impression, by the way, of Hulk Hogan, I think, on the sideline. Pretty nice little smooth shot by Hobley from outside. Hobley hit it with the seven footer in his face. He, by the way, played at Southwest Texas State down in San Marcos, Texas, just outside of San Antonio. Phillips for three. Rebound snatched by Stewart and the Nationals. Again, down 79 60, eight minutes to go in the game. Pennington dealing it back outside. That's Nichols, who's had a good night shooting and a steal made. And that is Otis Key. Thank you very much. You know, when you stop to think, Reggie, I mean, this is a guy that nearly six foot ten, weighs 250 pounds, got to gather and get that kind of height up. Uh, just some great athletic ability by Key. Well, he's six foot ten. You have to gather your feet as you saw him yep. get that together and then go up strong. I mean, he's a guy who led the the MIAA in, in conference rebound with 11 rebounds a game. He's a player. And the Trotters have taken a timeout with 7.39 left to go here in the fourth and final period. This is Chris Berman of ESPN. The Harlem Globe Trotters to me represent everything that's right about sports. The sheer joy of participation, the sheer love of the game of basketball. I mean, who can forget Metal Arc Lemon with the rubber band on the hand with the free throw, and then everybody goes in the lane, and then the ball snaps back into his hand. Who can forget the chasing of the coach or another player with a, with a bucket of what looked like water and then throwing it into the first row or second row of the seats? And, of course, it's confetti that comes out. Who can forget the balancing of the basketball on the finger and the sweet Georgia Brown? And they, the Harlem Globetrotters, are among the best ambassadors of sport or anything else the United States has ever sent around the world. And I thank them for helping me love the game of basketball at a very young age. Boomer, thank you very much. And uh, should we send him a little note that it's not always <laughs> it's confetti? It's not always confetti, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey, 
Like right, we got something going on. Whose ball is it? Let's glow try to ball. Let's glow try to ball. Gaffney hey, just wants to get stuff. things straight here. He's just right. getting it straight. But you know, why do these work here after right. Well, it, it, it's interesting because there are a lot of people here who've oh never goodness. seen him, but there's a lot of people here. Yes! There's a lot of people here who've seen him over and over, and as a father and son, a father can sit there and say, hey, son, I think this is the place. Look what's getting ready to happen. He looks like he knows something that you don't know. And then what happens also, when the kids laugh, it makes you laugh all over again. When you're sitting there with your kids and you see them having a good time and can't do anything but put a smile on your face. Memory's always different. That's right. Always fun. Well. Try for a follow-up. Body does right. get it up and good, and that's him. Get back to it. Give it to He's him. He's over 20 tonight. Give it to him. Clear out. I got him. 55 to go. I got him. Move out the way. Move out the way. He's going to play defense Come by on. himself here. Oh, it's you think you bad? Come on. You think you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> How you doing, brother? All right. All right. All right. Thibodeau coming to the rescue of his teammate there. What got into Paul Gaffney here? I don't know. No, I don't like you anyway. Calm down, man. Calm down, man. Oh, man. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Ah, oh, shut up. Did you see that? That was crazy. Did you see it? I can't believe. Clyde Sinclair with just a little bit more he did it. idea of a saneness there as the shoes go. Remember the guy that had the bad jersey in the start? Of the They're after him again. Don't do it again. Hold his shoe. Don't do it again. Oh, the man gets a nice souvenir. Here, you want some mints? Here, kids, you might need some. That's some candy. Give you, you get it. You oh, want some candy? All toys are out, right? They're yeah, running the weave, and suddenly they realize that the metal is not there any longer. Don't worry about that. I tell you I'm what, Showtime can always on, find a How mic and a Come camera. On, can he? Yeah, all right, yes, sir. We're going to make that thing scream. Coming at you, Curly. Hot dog. How you feel that, sir? Oh, my goodness. Take it right here. Whoop. Oh, nice little finger roll pass right there. Uh oh, and, and Paul's Woo! got a friend Woo! already. Shoot it, kid! Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh yes! Oh! Hey, kid, I'm gonna wait. Shut up, 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 shut now, who is this? This is my son. No! <laughs> hey, look, he looks just like me. No, no. Same complexion and everything. <laughs> How you doing, son? Good. You having a good time, son? Yeah. Hey, son, what is your name? Samuel. Samuel? Yeah. Samuel, how old are you? Ten. Ten? Are you married? No. <laughs> he said, no. Come here, Samuel. <laughs> hey, say hi to my teammates. Hi. Okay, hey, buddy. Friendly group tonight as well. Oh, just making hey, this kid's a... life right here. Yeah, Hold on. I know why you missed it. It's this shirt. Big old shirt oh, you got on. Man. Let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, no. <laughs> Something coming out of that shirt. Hey, man, I don't know what it was, but it was moving like this. Hey, Samuel, I'm going to clean a spot off right here. Right on this memory sign. Right here. Well, ooh, that's a nice chick. Mm. Hey, man. <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Samuel, come right here, man. Oh, now Samuel's Shoot it from gonna, here. You know, he missed a moment ago. Put it in. That's right. He's going to make one shooting. of these. Right there, right there. He's going to nail it. Oh. He got it up there very well. It's a strong shot. You'll make it. Hey, I know what the problem is. I know. It's the shoes. It's the shoes, man. He needs some Reeboks. He needs some Reeboks, man. Go get some Reeboks. Take these Nikes off. Put some Reeboks oh on his feet. Oh, my gosh. 
The kid has no shoes on. And look at these things they're bringing out here. Are those right. the Shaq shoes? Oh, he can take a bath right. in those. Right. These are size 22 right. shoes, oh. folks. Wait a minute. Roll this up. Hey, you need some hot. You need some pants. Oh, look at the legs. Uh oh, no time. We got some pretty legs. So there goes the statement you got some big <laughs> shoes. You got some. Come on. Oh, my God. Let's see if it helps you. Oh, he's getting a little help. <laughs> Nail it. Go, Samuel. Oh, one more time. One more time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Turn around. Look at everybody. Keep turning. You see all these people in here? They want you to make it. So do it. Yeah! yeah. There you go! You're the man! You are the man, Samuel! Give me five! You're the man! You are the man! You are so the how many man! Kids get a chance to man, wear. I got a gift for you, man. Jerome here. James man, shoes man, and Shaquille O'Neal shoes shot. at the same time. You know, the uh, agileness of this youngster has hey, suddenly gone awry. <laughs> Stay right here. And I believe he's going to get another special Ooh, souvenir from the beautiful. Trotters. Now, this you know, is a gift for my great friend Samuel for his great shot. Now, Gaff had trouble getting his shirt off. Let's see if he has any better luck getting this one off. Hey, Samuel. We'll put this on you. Come in close, man. Come in close. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around where you can't see. I want to see. Hold your hands up. <laughs> so, so much for the shirt, huh? Oh, they left him high and dry. My dear son. Hey, Samuel. Look <laughs> 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 at Samuel. Uh, hey, I want you to do me a favor. You see all those people way up there? Yeah. The ones about their ticket late? Yeah. <laughs> I want you to go like this. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Protein shake, Samuel. Oh, my. <laughs> hey, I got some more friends way up there. I want you to go like this. <laughs> Come in, man. Come in. Hey, hey, stay right there. Scoot back. Scoot back. Look, I got one more thing for you, okay? You see ESPN's camera right there? Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> you been drinking too much Coke? Yeah. A cola? You see that camera? I want you to be, do like me. Go like this, go. You're a champ right there tonight. Hey, I tell you hey, what. Oh you see my little Hercules? He's so strong. Look at him. Muscles on the muscles. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> hey, I don't need any help. I used to work at a daycare center. I know how to handle kids. <laughs> What's wrong, man? I thought you used to work at a daycare center. I did. His arm goes through there? His arm goes through there. His arm. I'm sorry. I thought it was a turtleneck. <laughs> All right, I think we Arms might open. finally have it here. Perfect fit. Go, man. Go picture. And the rest of the Trotters with their gifts. Hey, Sammy, you know what? Now you are honorary globe trotter, okay? Now you have to walk like a globe trotter. Are you ready? First, you got to bend your knees. Bend your knees like this. Hey. <laughs> hey. Then you gotta swing your right arm. Your other right, yeah, that one. Okay. Hey, and then walk like this. <laughs> oh my Little Samuel getting the swerve on. He's got it, doesn't he? <laughs> I tell you, every hey, youngster in this building saying, boy, I wish I'd be just job, like Samuel. Man. Absolutely. Hey, look. How did you get to the game tonight? 
coach gave me. Your coach gave you? Where is Samuel your coach? Samuel Bank in the bucket. Where are you going, kids? To down somewhere. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Where is your coach? Um, Paul, right there. Hey, Coach Paul. How you doing? Good. You having a good time? Yes. Hey, are you proud of your, of your student? No. Yes. You are proud? That's good. Do you like his shirt? Very nice. You like it a lot? That's good, because that shirt is $25. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Your coach is loaded, man. Come here. Hey, man. Your coach is loaded. Can I have it? <laughs> you sure can. <laughs> you go. Hey, all right, all right. See you later. Bye bye. God bless you. The coach paid for the shirt after all. Oh, you want your clothes back? You got $7? <laughs> no, no, just give me five. Give me five. You owe me two. <laughs> Take care. See you later. Hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Bye bye, Samuel. Bye. Samuel's had himself a ride of a lifetime. <laughs> hey, my, oh, my. Give him a big hand clap. That's great. Ain't that wonderful? Look at his buddies. They say, hey, can we have some of that? That's incredible. Well, we're at the Harlem Globetrotters memory tour. We're in Orlando tonight, and we're not finished yet. Samuel has been a shining star. Oh, Gaffney again. Last loss, by the way, came to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and the All-Stars back in 1995. They went 11-1 in that tour, and a slam dunk put down by St. Julian. We got the trick. We got the trick. I got 33. Sorry, so get me. It don't matter. Nationals Thibodeau trying to let's get go, a deuce go. inside and does. Trotter I'm coming ball. right now, Doug. I'm coming right now. Sinclair to Gaffney. Oh, God. oh, he's taken down. Well, that may be a payback from the last one we saw. Mama. Oh. Oh. Somebody got to get him. It's the start of a song, isn't it? <laughs> they take the first first four O's That's right. <laughs> and make some of it. Oh, I don't know. He, I don't know if he'll recover on this one. Take him that way. Oh. Oh, he may have to take some time here. Paul Gaffney has been a very durable player. Well, I tell you what, that looks like it might be some payback. Two hands in the chest oh, and the takedown. Yeah. I don't know. Stewart's a dirty player out of Brown. And he almost gave him a foot. He almost gave him the step <laughs> on at the end. Gaffney's ready to go here now. There he is. That's that's the bad guy there. 68205 Doug Stewart. Gaffney's back out. Well, the one thing you have to say is the Nationals don't take no stuff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sinclair's trying oh. here, isn't he? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Bingo! Ah! <laughs> 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 yes. Shoot the ball! Say what? Shoot the ball! Bang, bang! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the rubber band on the basketball. The, 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 Whoa. <laughs> the string on the ball. Whoa! <laughs> the, the sad part about that, that's the way people said that I played basketball. That what? The ball kept coming back to you? You're the only guy I know that could pass to myself. <laughs> Okay, that one looks like it's a pretty good ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh, he got close on that one. I tell he? you what, the timing's wrong on that one. Or the spacing. <laughs> it's a leather sandwich. You know, I'm not sure one of the better athletes on this floor may not be Barry Terry with all of the problems he's had to go through tonight. Exactly. And Paul Gaffney was very short on that free throw, I might add, but he's he's holding his pose very nicely. He's still there. Meanwhile, the rebound has been collected by the Trotters on the other end. Come on down, I got you. How are everybody? All sides, five yard penalty. Five, One, and messed up the two, game. Three, four, 
five uh -oh. and a little bit. Hold up. Hold up. It's a football. You know, these guys always have the fantasy of how they can play football. Let's see how they do here. I tell you what, Team they can turn now. anything into something fun. Team set. Blue nine. <laughs> that sounded off. Well, he let him know he went by, though. Didn't he? Blue Twitter. <laughs> Blue 17. Blue three. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, man. Set, hut, hut. Touchdown. They made it. Glide the glide with six. And there's the glide. Little instant replay here. Look at this. Lord, good. <laughs> Let's see if it sounds as loud as it. Yeah, it did. And into the weave, the Harlem Globetrotters football. Hey, lady. Hey, hey, hey. You in the gray? If I make this shot, I'll kiss you. I'm talking to you, front row. Hey, look. But if I miss, you kiss me. <laughs> it's a win-win like situation, rocks. huh? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, hey, oh darn. Boy, I love this game. <laughs> How y'all feel, son? Yeah, all right, baby. Watch out. You yeah, okay, son? Trotter's no, weaving it here in the Make final moments. Pop. Make that thing scream. Got the dog. Okay, you got to kick it on in here. Where we can go out there. You all right, son? Come on, kick it in here, son. Oh, my goodness. Hot dog, take it out there. You all right? You got 15 on the clock. Now they got all five all right. of them going right here. Back. Five men weave. Where you going? Get up out of there, son. And the crowd's into it in the closing seconds of the Trotters. Memories being made tonight in Orlando. Oh, St. Julian, and the game is over. The Trotters win again. What else is new? The fans loved it, and the memories have been established here. And even Otis Key is saying, well, how do I get out of this mess? <laughs> See, that's a rookie. He doesn't know how to get out of the confetti yet. Well, a fine night had by everybody here in Orlando. The Trotters with a big win over the Nationals. Amy Bender at courtside with some special guys. We are here with the crown princes of this game. Prince says, not princesses, right? We got that. Paul Gaffney here also and Matt Jackson. Guys, what a show today. I think you had a, a good time kicking off the 99 season, Paul. Oh, yeah. This, this is how we like to start it off down here at Walt Disney World. We had a great time. We had a great crowd. And we really, the crowd was into it from the beginning. That's what made it easier for us to do our thing. Would you say you've got the most fun job of all your teammates? Yes, I think we got the best job uh, amongst our peers, you know, because what we were able to do, we were able to create energy off the crowd and without and blend our own personality into the show and be able to, for the crowd to feed off us as well. But I do want to thank you for not throwing the water on me. Okay, yeah, I thought Reggie Theus, he deserved it this time. Speaking of the guys with the bath, let's go back to him right now. Okay, oh, it's just tremendous memories. I, you know what, they do such a great job of adding to the attraction, getting the kids involved, the memories. I had another great time, Sam. I can't well, that, stop smiling. My jaws are aching. It's a fun night. On behalf of Reggie Theus, Amy Bender, I'm Sam Smith. Thanks for joining us as the Memory Tour is 99 for the Trotters is underway with a flying start. So long from Orlando on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.